So before we get started, you should know that I've updated my Inertia packages to their latest versions as of today. So we have 0.5 for Inertia and 0.4 for the Inertia Vue.js adapter. So back to our project, the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new route to toggle the liking of a tweet. So I'll go to web and add in a new route. This will be a post request. And we'll have a liked tweets controller and a toggle method. Let's create a controller. Import it here in the routes file. And let's add the toggle method that will receive the tweet. Now we need a place to store the likes, so we'll create a liked tweets table. Make migration, not table. And here we'll have the user ID and the tweet ID. Okay, now let's add the relationship on the tweet. So we'll have likes. And this will be a belongs to many relationship. Now inside the controller, we can reference that relationship and attach the current user ID. Now we should call this endpoint, but first let's migrate our migration. And if you remember, this is how our UI looks. We need to add a like button right below the tweet. So we'll go here at the margin first. And on click, we'll call a toggle like, and we'll pass in the tweet ID. Methods. And here we'll need to post an inertia request to our endpoint. So we'll do this inertia post tweets like. And we need to also preserve the scroll of the page. If we refresh. Okay, let's hit the click button. And we get the modal because we also need to return a response in our controller. So we'll just redirect back. We look on the network tab, we are making the requests. So let's check the database. Tweets are not saving, probably because our session expired. If we go to dashboard, yeah, I need to log in again. Let's try this again. Here it is but the created that and updated that are null. To make them fill themselves, we need to add with timestamps. So whenever you're dealing with belongs to many relationships and you have the timestamp fields, you need to add in this call. So now if I hit like, 
refresh, this new one has the timestamps. But as you can see, uh, currently we have two likes for the same tweet. So we need to make sure we toggle instead of adding more likes. We could do just this and this will check if the tweet already has a like. Or is liked by our current user. So if we do have a like, we are detaching this record. Otherwise we are attaching it. So if we do this again, no tweets, or record. A simpler version for this, of course, Laravel comes with a toggle method. And we need to pass in the auth ID. We can remove all this. Click. No records. More like. If we go to our user tweets component, we can improve our code even further. We can use the inertial link component to send the post request directly. So we don't have to create an extra method to do this can do inertia link and then preserve scroll method post and the ref will be our endpoint. And to make this more accessible we can also choose to render it as a button instead of a link. So we have the as directive and as a button. If we refresh, we have the same functionality. And we can remove this edit method. Next up, let's create an icon component. So I'll go to JS, create a new directory, utils, something, icon.view, and we'll receive a prop, and here we'll basically toggle different uh, icons. Let's go to bootstrap and grab a heart icon. So I'll get this one. Paste it in here. And we'll have if name equals heart and an outline. else if name equals heart out line and let's go to app.js to register this component component icon icon and let's import it Oh, it's already here. And component. Okay, and now if we go to tweets, instead of like, we can have icon. Name, heart. Refresh. Here it is, but we should have heart outline. Okay, that's better. Now we should make sure that whenever we return the tweets, so if we go to props, tweets, data, 
Here we should also have a light property. That would be a boolean, so we know if we need to show the outline or the full or filled heart. To do that, we'll go to our user tweets controller and add in a width count call. So we'll do width count and we'll be counting likes. And we want to make sure that those likes belong to the currently authenticated user. So where user ID is auth ID. We go back in the browser and refresh. We have a likes count, but we want this to be liked. We can do as light and we want it to be a boolean and we can add in some casting right here. So with casts passing an array light as booleans. Go here and look to our tweets. We have liked false. And here is true. So let's use that boolean to display the other icon. Go here. Can do something like tweet. Heart. Otherwise is heart outline. Now if we go back in the browser and refresh. And let's try it out. Okay, it's not working for some reason. So let's go check the first tweet. Should be working though. Oh, it's because here we are looping through the user tweets and these are initialized with these tweets, but they are never updated. So we need to add a watch. We do watch tweets. And we need to do this user tweets. So whenever the tweets change, we update our local user tweets. And now surely works. And that's it. That's how you can implement a favorite like functionality with Inertia.js and Laravel.